for Tracy? Just what, what's he been like the last 24 hours? Yeah, I mean, I think emotional, obviously. Um, you know, I commend him for the effort that he that he put forth to come back from the from the ACL. You know, he did everything that that we asked him to do, and then some. Uh, he's very diligent about it, very professional about it. As you can imagine, extremely responsible. Uh, there's a pro's pro in just everything that he that he does, and. Um, you know, to go through that, come back like he did, work his way back, and then have, you know, the first player certainly I've ever coached to have two back-to-back season-ending injuries. Uh, I don't even know if I can. I'm sure it's happened before, um, but I can't think of one off the top of my head. Uh, is a lot, you know, to, for him to digest. Um, you know, I, I think, uh, as I told the guys, I mean, he's, he's he's hurting right now. I mean, we're less than 24 hours, uh, you know, from uh, the injury. And uh, that's, a, that's natural. I mean, he's invested so much in this, uh, in, in his time here and in this team and in his comeback. And, and uh, that's natural. If he didn't feel that way, I'd be, you know, I'd be surprised. So, uh, but, he, you know, we're going to figure it out. Uh, we always try to, we always, that's our deal. We're always solutions oriented. And, and um, you know, we, we're all going to continue to be there for him and love him and, you know, do the best we can as a group to serve him and care for him. And, and uh, just like he does for his, uh, for his teammates and our staff. Good to have just a fluke play, very similar to the one last time. I mean, no contact, it just popped. You know, uh, you, know you don't you obviously don't typically see Achilles tears uh, in, in, in kids that are uh, that age. Call him a kid, uh, but uh, you know it happened for whatever reason. And it's completely non-related to the other leg or, or, or knee. There isn't a you know I've asked. You know, there's nothing you can do in that situation. It's just kind of a freakish thing. It, it, it happened and. You know, we'll, we'll uh, Tracy and, and our staff will deal with it and move on. It may be premature, but have you discussed options? I mean, next you know, time. not at this point. You know, we'll get to all the different scenarios here moving forward. But it's pretty fresh right now, so it's like, you know, for me, my number one concern by far is uh, his mindset and his health. Obviously, Jalen might have been a guy, or Jalen Tate's obviously a guy who's going to get a lot of playing time, and he would have anyway. But what are your other options? At, at well, obviously, we're going to exercise all options at this point. You know, it's pretty fresh within 24 hours. Um, you know, we've uh, we've had different guys uh, certainly on our mind that we thought you know we'll get. We, great thing for us is we get these foreign trip practices. You know, including our two hours that we're allowed by the NCAA, we get nine more opportunities to work with them uh, here moving forward, leading up to August the 9th. So we'll be able to experiment a little bit. So, you know, we certainly see that as a benefit that we would not have normally. So that part's good, and we'll, we'll see if we can, you know, figure it out. What about Mike Latulip, how does this affect his plans? It doesn't really affect him. Uh, you know, Mike and I haven't had any discussion in the last 24 hours that's changed anything. Uh, you know, Mike has a goal uh, to graduate uh, from the University of Illinois and exercise his fifth year option uh, at another institution. And, you know, my job as his head coach is to help that opportunity occur uh, to the best of my ability, our ability as a staff. Would there be a chance for Tracy to get a sixth year? I don't know. We haven't, again, uh, you know, he was asking the same question, like we haven't even crossed that uh, bridge yet. Uh, obviously, it's still fresh. I'm mo most concerned about his health and his, and his mindset. Who has the skill set to handle, you know, some ball handling, maybe more? Well, we've got a, guy, a lot of guys that can handle the ball, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll look at... Uh, you know, we'll look at all options at this point. A surgery for for him at some point? How soon? July? Yeah, I've an update for you there because I think we sent the press release. It was TBD, but it's going to be a week from tomorrow. Week. Yeah, we got to give it some time for the swelling to go down, which is pretty normal uh, in situations where a guy gets injured like that. And did the same thing with his knee. He wouldn't go on the trip. He would not. It would not right. be in his best interest medically or from a health perspective to do that. And again, that's my biggest concern. I don't like that because. You know, obviously, uh, his experience level, his leadership capabilities, his toughness have been well documented and well displayed over a long period of time. So I'd love for him to be with us, but it's just not in his best interest at this point. So with Tracy out, um, who who else is withheld from action in Europe? Uh, Coleman Lands and Darius Paul. And Darius. Yeah, those guys are withheld at this juncture, and, and uh, you know, hopefully, we can get to the point where we get back and we get a thumbs up and we can start in fall training camp. A couple of unforeseen injuries the last couple of weeks. Has your vision of this trip to Europe changed at all? Um, you know, it changes from the standpoint of personnel, obviously. Uh, but in terms of what we're going to get out of it, you know, I think it's going to be a great learning experience for our guys. Any foreign trip that I've ever taken um, as a coach, I think your guys just kind of naturally, because they spend so much time with one another in a different environment, grow closer together. You know, I, I love that part of it. 
um, I'm really excited certainly to go to all three places, but um, you know, for me personally, I'm, I'm looking forward to some of the other guys are to going to Normandy Beach. Um, you know, that has certainly, um, you know, the, the, the armed services, the military has a special place in my heart for me personally, my father uh, fighting uh, in Vietnam and my grandparents fighting in World War II. So, you know, I, I know the significance of, of Normandy Beach. I'm excited to educate the guys on that prior to going over. And I think it's going to be a great opportunity. And then we get to play four games, so we'll get to experiment a little bit. Like some of you guys were asking, you know, what do we do here moving forward? And some of the young guys will get to play. And, you know, we get Big Mike out there. And, you know, so we get, we get a lot of different uh, things out of the trip that I think will be very productive.